What's up guys, welcome to another FGO video. As we are saving for our favorite servants this year or the next one, I decided to calculate how many quarts we can save up to certain marks, including weekly missions, daily logins, the Vinci shop, event missions, special campaigns, and added a few variables, like interludes, strengthening quests, and of course, bond farming, as this is what made my 2023 the best possible ever. So please, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, comment down below as it really helps our channel grow, and let's jump into the video. For a starter, let's assume we are saving from zero at January 8th, we will consume our whole AP during that weeks, and I will assume you will need a decent amount of time for the events. We get 3 Saint Quartz every week in the Master Missions, 4 Saint Quartz and 1 Ticket per week in Logins, every 50 days gives extra 30 Saint Quartz and every month an extra 5 Tickets with the Vinci Shop, so let's begin saving. If we count until February 23, the estimated last day of Bazette Banner, we can get 16 Quartz for the equivalent of the Shizuoka campaign, 20 quarts and 3 tickets for the Rainy's event, 10 quarts for the 2400 days, 3 quarts for the Valentine pre-release, 16 quarts for the equivalent of the Kochi campaign, 7 quarts and 5 tickets for the Valentine's event, 18 quarts for daily logins, 27 for the weekly master missions, 6 weekly tickets and 5 tickets from the shop for a total of 117 quarts and 19 tickets. Note, we had some strengthening quests happening, but we'll talk about that later. The next huge checkpoint, in my opinion, is the Sea Monster Crisis event with the Trunk Sisters and the return of Queen Morgan. 3 quarts for the White Day pre-release, 16 quarts equivalent to the Hokkaido campaign, 7 tickets for the White Day Spectacles event, 8 quarts for the 15 Intellectuals event, 3 tickets for the Road to Lost Belt 7 campaign, 8 quarts and 16 tickets for the Battle in New York, an equivalent to the 16 quarts for the Anime Japan campaign, 18 quarts and 7 tickets for the Spring New Wave campaign, 3 quarts and 3 tickets for the Road to Lost Belt 7 Lost Belt 2, 10 quarts in April Fools, 18 quarts during the Sea Monster Crisis event, plus 44 quarts in daily logins, 60 quarts in accumulative logins, 18 quarts for the Master Missions, 9 weekly tickets, 10 tickets from the Vinci Shop March and April for a total of 222 quarts and 55 tickets. If you're saving since January, then you have 339 quarts and 74 tickets at the very least. Moving on, the next big target is the equivalent to the Japanese 25 million download banner, with the best support Castoria, Jolter, Miss Crane and Jack the Malay. We start things out with 3 quarts during the Learn with Manga pre-campaign, 16 quarts and 3 tickets during the FGO Learn with Manga collab, 10 quarts for the 2500 days anniversary, 42 quarts and 10 tickets for the 25 million download campaign, 14 quarts for daily logins, 12 quarts due to weekly master missions, 4 weekly tickets, 5 tickets from the May shop, totaling 97 quarts and 22 tickets since the Morgan banner, or 436 quarts and 96 tickets since January. Next stop should be Charlemagne or one of the other new units in Tron. Tron pre-release campaigns will gift us with 7 quarts and 1 ticket, Tunguska main interlude will be available for grabs with 16 quarts and Tron chapter itself will have 21 quarts in main quests, 10 quarts in arrows, 16 quarts in free quests, 16 quarts from daily logins, 30 from cumulative logins, 12 from weekly master missions, 4 weekly tickets and 5 tickets from June shop for a total of 128 quarts and 10 tickets since Castoria banner or 564 quarts and 106 tickets since January. Our penultimate stop and one of the main attractions is Arcoid Brunestrude, the archetype Earth. But, before we continue, I made some ponderations that maybe the Nanmei Yumiharu Hakuten event and the Oku main interlude might only be released after the anniversary, as we do have a tight shadow. In this scenario, we'll still receive 2 tickets from the anniversary countdown, 1 ticket from the limited missions, 21 tickets in the anniversary itself, 
as well as 100 quarts during the live stream, 50 quarts in missions during the anniversary that almost everyone has available, like main and free quests done. And then we have more 3 quarts for each limited or starlocked servant that reached max ascension. I won't count those, but some of you should expect easily over 200 quarts, with 14 quarts from daily logins, 9 quarts from master missions, 3 weekly tickets, 5 tickets from July shop, for a total of 178 quarts and 42 tickets since Charlemagne, or a total of 742 quarts and 148 tickets since January. Remember, that's without the new strengthening quest or the 3 quarts per servant feature. Finally, our last stop for this video is the summer event. You should expect 28 quarts and 4 tickets in the Nanmei Yamihara Hakuden event, 14 quarts in the Oku main interlude, 28 quarts entry tickets in the actual summer event, 22 quarts for daily logins, 30 quarts in cumulative logins, 18 quarts from the master missions, 6 weekly tickets and 5 tickets from the August shop for a total of 140 quarts and 18 tickets since the anniversary or 882 quarts and 166 tickets since January. Lastly, the variables. If you did not possess any of the new unlockable interludes during this year, you will have an extra 38 quarts available and 30 front cumulative missions. If you possess every servant that got strengthening quest this year until summer, you got yourself an extra 72 quarts from the strengthening quest and at least 30 from the cumulative quests. And remember the 3 quarts per last ascension in the anniversary, those go up to 915 quarts if you have all the 305 eligible servants. So you can see, there is a variable bank with over 1085 quarts and time enough to upgrade at least 5 servants to bond 11 for an extra 150 quarts in bonds. So it is possible to save into summer over 2,000 parts and 166 summon tickets. If you still keep saving though, then you might as well build a quartz bank. And that's it for today's video. Feel free to comment down below your opinions. And if you find this helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Comment down below as it really helps her out. And catch you later.